In every case study, before we get into the tool, we will go through what I'm calling the pre-analysis. And the pre-analysis section will help us think through what's under the black box. To figure out what to do in the pre-analysis, let me go back to the framework of what's under the black box. The first element of pre-analysis to think through what is a mathematical model being solved. Okay, so that's what we'll do first in pre-analysis. So we'll think about the mathematical model, we'll think about the physical principles on which it's based, and the assumptions embedded in the mathematical model. So we'll be dealing with this aspect of the black box in the first step of pre-analysis. In the second step of pre-analysis, we'll move our attention to the numerical solution procedure, okay? And in particular, we will think about what is the numerical solution strategy being used, what are the errors introduced, and how do we minimize those errors? In the third step of pre-analysis, we will look at hand calculations of expected results or trends. So we'll be looking at this aspect um, so that we are going in with an expectation of what the black box is going to give us. And in thinking through these three aspects of pre-analysis, we are directly engaging with fundamental principles of engineering analysis and engineering simulations. We are connecting with textbook content. Okay, so it's a very important step. And it also forms the basis for verification validation um, as we will see next. And verification validation is uh, the process by which we will check results. In going through the pre-analysis then, we are moving, you know, we're learning to move beyond button pushing and start thinking like experts. Let's think about the, of, you know, so I'll consider verification validation next. 